There is also another way of exposing data from SAP HANA using web services, and that is using the Access OData. The Access OData is an extension built on top of the OData, in short for Open Data Protocol. It defines a protocol for the querying and updating of data utilizing existing web protocols. OData is a REST-based protocol for querying and updating and is built on standardized technologies such as HTTP, XML, and JSON. It's different from other REST-based web services in that it provides a uniform way to describe both the data and the data model. It's considered to be a flexible technology for enabling interoperability between disparate data sources, applications, services, and clients. To expose a table or a HANA view using XSO data is very simple. You need to create an XSO data file, set a namespace, following by the tables or views that you want to expose. Both will require an alias, so we can access the table from outside. And in case of the views, you also need to determine the keys. So to do this demo, I will first create a HANA view, so we can have it as an example as well. So I'm going to go to my original project and create a new package. I will call it models. And inside this package, I will import a calculation view file that I already have. And you can find it on the resources of the e-learning. So we just import it. And you will see right here that we have two joins being made by this calculation view. So I'm first gathering the data from the business partner table, joining it with the business partner group table, OCRG. And then the result of this first join is being joined with the invoice tables. So at the end, we should have a total amount of sales per business partner group. Okay. Uh, we also can see the SQL statement that has been performed to retrieve this data. So if you can see right there, we have a new HANA view. And this is the view that we're going to use on our OData file. OK, so we have a data source. What we're going to do now is create a new package. I'll call this access OData, or maybe just OData, just to stay the same way as the XSJS. Let me just rename it. And in here, we're going to create an XSO data file called B1, for example. B1 XSO data. And in here, we will set the specification of our OData file. So the first thing, our namespace. There is really no convention for you to set a namespace. We normally use the name of our project and also the name of the folder itself. I'm just forgetting the quotes. And in here, we will set the data source and alias for it. So sales by BP group, for example. And since I'm working with the with a calculation view or any HANA view, we need to set also the key of this view. In this case, there's only one key. There is the group code. OK. We, we, we should be done by here, but we can also expose other data sources. Just for example, I can use a table. So I can use the SPO demo US table and use the user table, for example. And set it as users. But since I'm exposing a table as a web service right now, I need to specify who have access to do what operations on top of it. Since I only want to create a read-only service, I will set as well some specifications and say that no record can be created. And also no updates. And of course, no deletions should be performed. Okay, that will be all. You just need to save your XSO data file. Oops, I have an error right here. 
Oh no, key name, group codes. Okay, I mistype it a beep. All right, so, and now we can just run it. Oops, seems that my Firefox not showing correctly. So I just open this in a new browser, same address. Yeah, this is what you should be seeing. Uh, so here we have the description of each of the OData called entities are available in this service. To have access to these entities, all I need to do is add this to the name of the URL. So if I access it, you can see that right there you have all the content being retrieved as an XML format. But of course, we can also have this in a different format like a JSON, so I just had this argument right here. Dollar format equal JSON. And then you have the content being retrieved in JSON. So since we built this service on top of OData, and here I'm loading again the JSON format on Firefox, you have several conventions that you can use. For example, you can make a projection of the records, so I can add another parameter. This time, the select equal group code, for example, and the group name, oh, sorry, and the doc total. And here I only have day two. You can also specify filters, uh, num the number of records. There are several conventions that you can use. And to have access to all those conventions, all you need to do is go to the odata.org website in the developer documentation option you find in the bottom the OData version 2.0. This is the currently supported version by SAP HANA. And here you will find the OData URI conventions. And here, for example, you can see there are several ones and you can use the filters, for example, associations and several other options.